So let's talk about multidimensional arrays. Now, multidimensional arrays really are not as complicated as most people think. When you start dealing with multidimensional arrays, this is the first point where really people start feeling as if their brains are going to start melting. But it's actually a rather simple concept as long as you sit down, breathe in. <laughs> <laughs> breathe out and just really think about what you're coding and really thinking about what you're doing. So as I've talked about before, what an array is, it's essentially it's a variable with multiple values at different positions. So let's say you're going to create a list of names. You'd have dollar sign names equals array, and then Bob, Sue, Tim, Fred, so on and so forth. Well, what if you want to be able to contain more information within an array? So basically the idea of an array really is a way to compartmentalize information or data so you can keep it in one space again when you start coding one of the issues that you're going to run into is just being able to mentally keep track of, of everything going on and then being able to code in as simplistic a way as possible in order to access the data that you need again that's one reason that you would use an array versus simply having a whole bunch of variables you know instead of having dollar sign name one dollar sign name two dollar sign name three dollar sign name four so on and so so forth, you can create an array simply of names and then have all those values within that array, right? That makes life a lot easier. Well, the same is true with a multi-dimensional array. What if you want to be able to contain arrays within an array to make it easier to access? So one of the things, uh, so one of the, the demonstration that I'm going to be showing you is basically where we have an array of clothing types, but within that array of clothing types, we have uh, tops, and so tops is long sleeve t-shirt sweater, and then we have bottoms, pants, shorts, skirt. So the idea is that we have one array to contain the different types of clothing that we have, but then within that array we have different other arrays in order to be able to sort the different types. So we have tops, we have bottoms, we can have all different types of things. And so this makes it a lot easier when we're coding. So instead of trying to remember the exact variable name or so on and so forth, we can simply access the types array and then we can access keys within the, the multi-dimensional array that we've created. So with that, let's go over to the computer to try to, to show you this and I think it'll make a little bit more sense. So this is a simple script for a multidimensional array. Please realize that multidimensional arrays can get ridiculous. Um, I'm not sure if there's a real limit for how many arrays you can put within an array. Uh, I literally heard of one coder who created a nine level uh, multidimensional array simply to make it so complicated to understand that he had complete job security because nobody else could understand how complex he had made the array. So when you're looking at these arrays and when you're looking at multidimensional arrays, you do want to balance the ease of use and making your life simpler for being able to keep track of information by turning the, the, the data into arrays versus making it too complex to the point that it gets too confusing for people to understand. This is one of those things you just kind of have to be thinking about. There's no real rules to this. You have to figure out what makes sense and what actually makes life easier versus makes life more complicated. So basically what we've done here is we've created three arrays. So the, 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 the top array, basically the array that will have arrays in it is going to be this types. So we have dollar sign types, and we're going to set this, we're going to create an array, and then what we're going to do here is we are going to put these other two arrays into the types array. So what we've done is for this array, we put the named key of top, so name key of top, then we're going to set that to the value of dollar sign shirts this is a different array. So top, the named key, will be set to the array of shirts. Then we're going to do comma. Then we're going to say bottom is going to be set to the value of the array bottoms. So the bottoms here. Now we've created these two arrays. And so basically these are different values for the different types of clothing. So for dollar sign shirts, we're going to do equal array. And this is simply going to be an unnamed array. That's just simply what I created. You can make this a named array or not. And all we've done here is in this array, we've created the value long sleeve, we've created the value t-shirt, and we've created the value sweater. So for shirts, we have these three types of shirts. Then we have bottoms, we equal, we create the array. And so bottoms, we have pants, 
we have shorts, and we have skirt. So these are the, the different options within bottoms. And then what we do here, and then again, as I've said, is types. This is the, the top array. We're going to set this to the value. We're going to do the named key of top. We're going to set that value to the shirts array. Then we're going to keep create the named key of bottom and set that value to the bottoms array. So now this, these are two arrays that are now within the types array. Now in order to be able to access a multidimensional array, what we can do is we come down here and we're simply going to use the print command to show you how to access this. But you could, you could set a variable to one of the values that comes out. You could be do loops. You could do a lot of different things. Again, you're now accessing the values within this multidimensional array. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say print double quotation marks since we're doing a print. And now with this, when we're accessing the values in a multi-dimensional array, what we're going to do is we're going to contain it within the squiggly brackets. So we're going to open up a squiggly bracket. We are going to say dollar sign types. So this is the array dollar sign types. Then we're going to do a bracket. So the, the, the first array, and we're doing single quotation mark top. So what we're doing here is for the array types, we're going to open up top key within it that has that has the array and then what we're going to say is from top so basically from shirts here what we want is the value that's residing in space number two now do remember with the arrays it starts at zero so when I say I want from top space number two so top comes here so we're looking at the array shirts so this is the array so when we're looking for space number two we don't want t-shirts because t-shirt is actually space number one. Long sleeve, oops, long sleeve is zero. T-shirt is one and then sweater is two. So that is one thing to remember with an array, especially when you're doing it this way. And so basically what this should do is this should print two. So basically this should print sweater if everything works properly. So if we go over, go to Silicon Dojo, multi-dimensional array and yeah and now we've printed a sweater so we were able to access the value in shirts that was within types so this is what a multi-dimensional array looks like and again you could use this thing with like inventory control systems or other ways where basically, let's say again, like clothing types. So we want an array of clothing, but within clothing, we're gonna have multiple types of clothing. So this is a way to categorize those different types and make it be able to be easier to access and deal with that information when you go to write more complicated scripts. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about multi-dimensional arrays. We're talking about arrays within arrays that may possibly be within arrays well, which may be in even more arrays. This is one of those, this is one of those concepts in coding that once you understand it can make your life easier, but at first it can be difficult to comprehend. And again, sometimes people take this a little bit too far. And so one thing that you have to think about is what using multidimensional arrays, what makes your life easier and what actually makes your life harder. And then again, just figuring out where that balance is. So that's all there is to multidimensional arrays, and that's why they matter.